NTI day number 34, fourth grade reading. Consider what feelings does the poet communicate about the encounter with the snake? What does the poet compare? I'm sorry, how does the poet compare the snakes with other kinds of nature's people? A narrow fellow in the grass. A narrow fellow in the grass occasionally rides. You may have met him, did you not? His notice sudden is... The grass divides with the comb. A spotted shaft is seen and then it closes at your feet and opens further on. He is like a boggy acre, a floor too cool for corn. But when a boy and but when a boy in barefoot, I more than once at noon. What is narrow? What is the narrow fellow in the grass? So think about that and write that answer there for me. What's the narrow fellow in the grass? Simile. A simile compares two unlike things using the words like or as. What simile can you find in the second verse? So you're going to come here. You're going to find the second verse. This is the second verse. And you are going to circle the sim simile for me. You don't need to answer the questions, what they compare. I just want you to see if you can spot the simile. And then the mood. What is the poem's mood? Which details indicate the mood? So write down what you think the mood is in the poem. We're going to continue on. I'm going to go back and read that last stanza since I kind of stopped. He likes a boggy acre. A floor too cool for corn, but when a boy in barefoot, I more than once at noon had passed, I thought a whiplash and braiding in the sun. When stooping to secure it, it wrinkled and was gone. Several of nature's people I know and they know me. I feel for them a transport of cordiality, but never met this fellow attended or alone without a tighter breathing at zero at the and zero at the bone. In the context of this poem, the word transport means a strong feeling or emotion. Corality means friendliness. This poem this poet feels a transport of corally or a feeling of friendliness for most creatures. So what does he mean? So I pretty much told you the answer. So what does this show us that he is friendly towards the snake? What can you infer the poet is feeling the last two lines without a tighter, tighter breathing and zero at the bone? You don't need to write anything there. Just think about what you might infer. I'm nobody. Who are you? Emily Dickinson. I'm nobody. Who are you? Are you nobody to you? Then there's a pair of us. Don't tell. They advertise, you know. How dreary to be somebody. How public like a frog. To tell one's name. The live long June to admire bog. Okay. I have three little questions here I want you to answer. The poet uses a simile. Circle the simile in the poem. And this time I want you to write in this little box what they're comparing. And then listen to the short rhyming words in this last verse. I want you to circle them. So the last verse says, how dreary to be somebody, how public like a frog, to tell one's name the live long June to admire to an admiring bog. And then what does the poet feel about fame or being an important person? Okay, how does it what does the poet feel about being about fame or being an important person? You can just tell, write down a little sentence. You don't need to tell me how you can tell. I just want to know what you feel.
Okay, and that is it for reading.